Hey guys, so today is the day that we are getting our pool heated up. Yes, that is right. It is freezing right now, but what better way to warm up than by jumping in the pool? <laughs> we're installing it right now with our electrician. And I've got to say the process so far has been pretty seamless, but let's go check it out. Whoa, it's big. It's a beast. Yep, got it. It's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. <laughs> we'll play around, shimmy around a bit, because maybe um, the pump will go there, mm. filter will go here, and then the big, massive tank it's will go there. It's a big one, isn't it? It's gigantic. All right, so right now, I'm trenching with my trenching shovel, and I really like this trenching shovel because it feels a bit like a bucket, and you just hold up the soil and you just push it away. So I do like it, that's very most, it's most enjoyable. I have been trenching with Ash now for the past week. We did do a bunch of other trenches that we've now subsequently covered up. But nonetheless, it's a fun job. And someone's got to do it. I didn't think it was possible actually to do this. So I've actually gone beyond my comfort zone and managed to trench something that I didn't think would be possible. So these are the main two pipes going for our pool. One's in and one's out. So it goes in through the pool up there through the filter, through the chlorinator, and back into the pool. So we're just going to move these pipes over there. So we just disconnected the pool pump. It's pretty easy, just plug it out straight away. And now we're just getting the new piping onto our new section. Okay. So we've just done the piping to get the pipe sort of pull situation over here. And I'm speaking to the spot. Good work. It's massive. Do the job. Right now I'm just compacting the soil after our trenching adventures. So the idea of this is to press it down really squishy so that we can put more soil on because as you can see, we've got a lot more soil than what it evidently looks like. So compacting it helps us to just put more soil on top and it's loads of fun too. How'd you do this on your own, mate? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this is how you level it. You put a level underneath. <laughs> Just wiring in the isolated switch for the free phase. This is a 35 kilowatt system. So we're just piping it through. We've managed to get it through from the switch up the attics. Um, you need to go like that. Or I can go on this side of the pipe. Pull it through.
She was like, it's finished already, I want to sleep. <laughs> so you're just fishing in that cable? Yeah, I just taped it into position. Just pull that. Yeah, Alright, now give it a massive jolt. Okay. Down. Two. Easy. One, two. Yep. Yep. Just it. Oh, yeah, you get it. That's why I done that, that run. Yes! <laughs> so I've just disconnected your three powers now because you had a four pole RCD in there and it's taken up too much space so I wouldn't have been able to fit the circuits in. So now I'm getting rid of your four pole RCD and three circuit breakers and I'm turning them into a single pole RCBOs just so you got more room and can fit them all in. Want to find out more? Make sure you check out the link in the description below, and we'll see you next month. Next time. Hope, Hope you guys, guys, guys really useful. Enjoy the show. <laughs>